Hi, I'm Amanda Lansford, and I'm joined today by Leanne Mangrabang, Director of Healthcare Economics. She's going to be answering some questions today about health plan premiums. Hi, Leanne. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. It's great to be here. First things first, can you explain what a premium is? Yeah, of course. A health plan premium is just how much a member pays for their health care coverage each month. It helps cover the cost of medications and care that they receive while improving the affordability and quality of healthcare for all. Got it. I know many people are probably wondering what exactly their premium pays for. Can you break down where that money goes? Definitely. So generally for health plan companies across the country, of each premium dollar a member pays, around 80 cents goes to direct patient care. Of that, around 20 cents goes to prescription drugs, and another 40 cents goes to inpatient and outpatient hospital costs. Hold on. So where are we at? About 60 cents? Okay, what about the other 20 cents? That's split between doctor visits, ER costs, and care. That's great. I'm assuming the remainder of their premium goes to their health plan company like Primera. You got it. Again, on average, 14 cents goes to business expenses including taxes, fraud prevention, quality improvements, and administration. These health plans like Primera run the business and stay compliant with state and federal regulations, which leaves less than four cents a profit. Okay, I think a concern on everyone's mind is, is that four cents taking advantage of our members? Health plans can make a profit, but Primera is a not-for-profit company, so making money is not our primary focus as a business. I think it's important to compare this to for-profit companies in other industries. For example, on average, life insurance and property insurance make between five and seven cents per dollar, and electric utilities make a profit of over 11 cents per dollar. Wow, that really puts that four cents into perspective. Yeah, it's really surprising. Okay, we don't have much time left, but I'm really gonna throw you a curveball on this one. When members pay so much for their plan and they see an in-network provider, why does Primera sometimes deny claims or say they can't get a service that has been recommended to them by a provider? Ah, yes, this is a tough one, but I can help. We recognize that having a claim or service denied can be hard, especially when a trusted provider recommended it. But the first thing to know is that most claims are paid automatically. This means that the remaining claims are reviewed by Primera staff to see if they adhere to Primera medical policies and the member's health plan contract. Very few are denied, but if they are, they're usually denied because the provider's out of network, the service is not covered by the member's plan, or the service is not supported by medical policy. But Primera is just a health plan company. How can employees know better than a provider with a medical degree? That's a great question, but it's crucial to note that Primera employs many clinicians from a broad range of medical disciplines. Our medical directors, nurses, pharmacists, doctors, and others bring significant experience to Primera and they're actually the ones who draft, review, and approve our medical policies. They rely on data from independent third-party sources to inform their decisions as qualified and educated members of the medical field, not the insurance or sales fields. They're just as highly knowledgeable in current medical best practices as providers who are not affiliated with Primera. Wow, thank you so much for a thorough and thoughtful answer. And thank you for all of your responses. We really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to chat. Thanks for having me. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out our other informational videos.